Hello, welcome back to this robotic bartender tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how we can add Bluetooth control to your machine. Originally, this was meant to be a solely voice activated machine, but I've decided to show you several different ways of setting up control. In this video, as mentioned earlier, we'll go over Bluetooth. In subsequent videos, I'll show you voice recognition and probably also a button menu. Okay, here's the code that I have written to allow us to do this. I'm no professional when it comes to writing code, and there are many different ways of doing this, but it works for me. You can of course modify it or write your own. There is a link to my code in the description. Before we load any code onto your machine, you should remove all of the optics and the optic pusher. As we have not yet customised the code for your machine, we don't want any collisions to occur. If at any point you want to stop a collision with your robot, pull out the USB cable from the Arduino and it will stop immediately. After you have connected your Arduino to your PC using a USB cable, open up the Arduino IDE, which you can download from their website, and open the serial monitor. You can then copy and paste my code and upload it to your Arduino. The bar bot should then spring into life and home its x-axis. Once this is complete, the LED will change colour and you'll see a message printed in the serial monitor. We will send the requested drink to the Arduino using its serial connection. We send the drinks order as a series of values separated by commas, also known as a CSV. This is an example order. It consists of six groups, each with three values. Each group represents an optic on our bar bot. My robot has six optics fitted, so there will be six groupings of three in its request. Let's look at the first grouping of three. The first number, 50 in this case, represents the distance the bar bot has to move from its current position to reach this optic. As this is our first optic, it is the distance from the contact switch. This is recorded as tens of steps. So this 50 represents 500 steps of the stepper motor. The next value represents how long to dispense that drink for. By that, I mean once the paddle has opened the optic, how long it should wait before retracting and closing the optic again. This is recorded as attempts of a second. This example therefore represents a one second pause. The optics that are designed to dispense a measured amount of alcohol will only dispense that amount, but when we get to the free flowing optics, we can increase this delay to increase how much is dispensed. The last value represents how many times this measure should be dispensed. This should be set to zero for optics which you don't want to dispense from, in which case the bar bot will pass right by without stopping. So that's the breakdown of the CSV. I'll go over how to refine it for your specific machine now. You can find a copy of this CSV in the description below. Copy and enter it into your serial monitor and send it to your robot. Now if yours is like mine, you'll find the paddle overshoots the first optic. Let's set about entering the correct distances into the code. Now the first thing that we need to do is to ensure that the drinks paddle stops every optic. So change every third number to a one so that the bar robot knows it needs to pretend to dispense a drink from each and every optic. Copy and paste this into your serial monitor and send it. Now as you can see, my paddle has gone too far past the first optic, so I will reduce the first number for distance to something like 10. Now if you copy this, reset your Arduino or re-upload the main code, and then you can paste this back into your serial monitor and send it again. You're going to need to continue to do this until you find the right position for your first optic. The paddle overshot again, so I'm going to reduce my number to 7 and try that. So 
So the location of the first optic looks about right to me now, so we'll let it continue on to the second. Now it hasn't gone far enough for the second optic, so I'll increase the distance that it needs to travel for the second drink, and then retry sending it again. Now there's no easy way around this, but you'll have to repeat this process many times as you work your way along, lining up each optic one by one. Once you have the whole set done, you won't need to do this again, it's only a one time thing, so it's worth getting it right. After you have finished refining the values, write it down somewhere. Now the first drink I'm going to program is a rum and coke. This is a very simple one. I mount rum on the first optic and a bottle of coke in the second optic. Now for the bottle of coke I'm using this free flow optic. Unlike the measured ones, it allows you to continually pour a drink whilst you have the paddle pressed up against it. This is really ideal for mixers as it allows us to control how much of the uh, fluid that we put into each drink as we program them into the robot one by one. We do, however, have a problem with this and carbonated drinks. As the carbonated gases escape from the liquid, they collect at the bottom of the bottle. This is forcing the liquid out where we neither want it or need it. To overcome this, I drill a hole in the bottom of the bottle after it's mounted, and this allows the pressure to escape. Now you can reattach the dispensing paddle to the bar robot. Before we move on to adding the Bluetooth module, I'd like to say thank you to my first Patreon supporter, curlycottage.com. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you'll find a link to my Patreon page below. Now let's add the Bluetooth module. I'm using the HM10. The HM05 is fine, but it will not work with iPhones. We'll be attaching it to these three connections. Now on your iPhone, go to the App Store and search for HM10. The application that we want to install is called HM10 Bluetooth Serial Lite. It's a free application and it's a great one to start with. Open the application and then press connect. Here you should be able to connect to your Bluetooth module. If it asks for a pin code, try four zeros or one, two, three, four. Now reset your Arduino using the button on the motor shield and you should find some messages printed to the screen with the iPhone. Now bring up the keyboard and type in the same CSV that you sent to your Arduino earlier. Send it and voila, here comes your drink. There is a paid for version of this app that allows you to save CSVs as buttons and when you press them it will transmit the CSV to your bar robot which will then begin to process the drink. This is what I'm using here. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. There are plenty more videos on their way. 
Let me know how you got on in the comments below. Otherwise, ciao for now.